Hey everybody, this is Dave again from wetflyswing.com and today I'm tying the Beats Me steelhead pattern. That's uh, B-E-A-T-S-M-E -E. and this fly was designed by Craig at uh, dclann.com dclann.com and I ran into Craig um, Oh, out up on the clickitat, and he said this pattern has been has been working really great this year. So I'm um, just getting started with um, using a Dairiki, um 899, and this is actually a one aught, pretty uh, decent size hook. But um, it's just to show for this session to give you a good idea, good look at the fly. Um, so I'll show you the the finished pattern. Which is going to look something like that when we're all done here. So let's get started. We uh, we're going to use a little bit of the silver tinsel for this one for the the tag and for um, the rib. Oops. So we'll get that out here. The first thing is get our thread on there, and this one you start back past the barb, and uh, I'm just going to put a short little tag in at the back, tie in our silver. And just kind of wrap back once, and then go back over it. You know, four or five wraps, and this is pretty easy to work with. Once you tie, you can actually go back over it to make it shorten it up. And this one we're going to use for the tail, golden uh, pheasant crest. This is nice because it kind of bends up and sticks up, up like this really nicely. We just tie that in, just that little clump. It's about the right size. Tight in so it bends upward like that. And once that's done, you can tie the silver back. So we're going to wrap, use this to wrap our rib with. Tie back over that. I'm going to cut this off. You don't need that. Um, so this one. Get all your miscellaneous out of the way there. Once you get this on, I'm going to use this um, this uni uh, um, stretch thread. This is uh, fuchsia, pretty pretty nice looking color. Um, and this stuff's pretty thin, so I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna double it up. That's probably the easiest easiest thing to do here for material control. Kind of double that up and then tie her on there, and the the uh, body is about about two thirds of this floss and about one third of the black up front. But this is really pretty easy to work with. Just tie it on. Make sure you cover up all the everything underneath, and then if it's not quite in proportions, you can always go back over it a little bit, like here. Keep wrapping, it's kind of thin here, so I'll just go back over it like that. Not a big deal, this stuff's really nice to work with. Back over it, and again, on this, you can if you make it too long, you can always wrap, cover that up. That's about right. So, I'm going to take about you know four wraps of this, this stuff. One, two. This is, you know, pretty thick. You can you can go smaller if you want to go a little smaller on the on the tinsel. That looks pretty good.
once you get that, the next step is a little bit of grizzly. Just grab a grizzly hackle and palmer it. Get all those out of the way nicely. Cut that off. Then we're going to go with a little chenille. Chenille back over pretty quick and easy, doesn't have to be too bulky. Like I said, just about one third of this black. You can pinch off a little bit if you get in the chenille excess, and then you just wrap, you know, three about three wraps would probably be good for this stuff. Three or four. Don't need a ton. Clip that, and then you pull this back and wrap back over at about a 45. Trim off the extras. And then the final piece is a little bit of squirrel. Um, get some of this stuff with a little bit of the lighter, the lighter tips are nice. You don't need much, just a little, a little bunch of it. that. And when you put this on it can go back over about halfway over the tail. Just kind of do a loose wrap on top. One. And then you can put your tighter wraps. And this stuff is, you know, it's pretty stiff. So I don't want to move on you. That's it. Get that and then finish up your head here. Nice neat head. That's it. The Beats Me by uh, Craig over at uh, DCLand.com. And uh, yeah, nice and sparse. Sweet little pattern. So again, thanks for uh, checking out the uh, the Beats Me. This is Dave from wetflyswing.com and swing over uh, at the site and take a look for a few additional tips and um, I'll have some other uh, notes on this fly at the site. So thanks a lot.